This is the Smarty Parts board revision 2.4 and in this video I'm going to walk through installing this in Eternity 9X and loading the ER9X firmware. The Smarty Parts package comes with the board, a few different cables, nylon spacer and screws and the kit runs at the time of this video $36. Now the board does come with the ability to power an LCD backlight but it's not included in the kit and in my case I already have a backlight so I'm not going to do that. It's the first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull out your module. I'm going to remove the battery. There are six screws that, that hold the two pieces of the Turnigy 9X together so we're going to go ahead and undo all of those. When you loosen your six screws, it should be pretty easy to pull this case off. And when you do, there is one cable that connects the back panel with the front. So it's this guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and unplug it. And now that it's unplugged, we can separate these two. The great thing about this board is that it's solderless. But there is one case where you might have to solder. And so if you look over here, the six pins from the right, you'll see that little solder pad right there. If that solder pad is on the sixth pin, then you have the version two transmitter. But if it's on the eighth pin, which is on the other side of, the, of these two, with no leads coming off of them, if it's over here, then you have the version one and you'll actually have to uh, solder to that pad. The first thing we're gonna do, take this little piece that comes with the kit. This is the top right of our board, so I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna go ahead and put this piece in here. Okay, the next thing we'll do is you'll notice these three black screws right here and our Smarty Parts board is going to mount just like that. So there are three screws and three spacers that come with the kit and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove these screws and use the spacers and the three screws from the kit to mount the Smarty Parts board. Now we'll go ahead and set our spacers into place. And what I'll do next, just to keep the spacers from sliding all over the place, is I'll go ahead and put our screws in place. And I made mention of this little solder plate earlier on the six pin. And what's neat about this setup is, see this is system clock, SCK, and they're little gold connectors that can be depressed. So when you mount this into place, these connectors make contact with those different solder plates. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just set the board into place. Okay, now that our board is in place and sitting on the spacers, I've gone ahead and lined up the screw holes. Okay, our board's in place. You don't wanna tighten those too much, just enough so that this board is nice and secure. And there you can see how it piggybacks off of the main board. The next thing we'll do is we'll take the supplied USB cable that comes with the kit and the back of the 9X case in the battery compartment. We'll just go ahead and slide that through. And I'll take this connector and I'll just plug it into this end of the Smarty Parts board. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug this cable from the 9X main board. And you can see right here where it says from 9X. We're going to go and go ahead and run that into the Smarty Parts board. And now we have our jumper cable that comes with the kit. And we'll run that from the main 9X board to our Smarty Parts board. Okay, so that's all we have to do from a hardware perspective. We're going to go ahead and put the case back on. Make sure our back and front case line up. Go ahead and put our six screws back in. So our back case is screwed back on. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Free Sky module. And you'll notice that our USB programmer will sort of sit to the side of the, in the battery compartment. And I can just put the battery back in. Okay, everything installed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. And good news is I haven't done any damage. Still got the uh, default firmware. So now let's go ahead and dive into loading 
ER9X. So what we'll do next, we'll take off this battery case and our USB port is here. So I'll go ahead and get that connected up to my MacBook. In the ER9X wiki, you can see there's an ER9X firmware download. So I'm gonna download the standard version for the 9X. And I'll be sure to post all of these links in the description below. Now that we've downloaded the firmware, I'm on a Mac, so what I'm gonna do is download Companion 9X to install the firmware. You can actually use the command line, but figured just for the sake of the demonstration, it'd be easier to use Companion 9X. Okay, I've gone ahead and downloaded Companion 9X. Now I'm gonna fire it up. Snazzy little intro screen. Now with Companion 9X loaded and us connected to the MacBook, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the transmitter. The next thing we'll do, we'll click this right flash memory to transmitter. We're gonna load the ER9X hex file that we downloaded. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click burn to TX. And you can see that it's writing firmware to the transmitter. If you look at the transmitter screen, it's just completely blank. And we're almost done. Now let's look at our transmitter. Now I do see an alert that says bad EEPROM data. But let's go ahead and press a key to see if we can get around that. Now it says the EE Promise formatting. Press any key. And there we have ER9X. And there is our default screen for ER9X. And you can see as I move my sticks, these values change. See we have a digital display of our sticks. I can page through the different model settings. So I'm a complete noob when it comes to ER9X, but I hope that was useful in showing you how simple it is to install without soldering the Smarty Parts board and installing the firmware. So I'm pretty excited about this. I've seen a lot of cool configurations and I plan on doing several how-tos that show different flight modes and, and switch configurations. And until next time, thanks for watching and hope you all have a great new year.